Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be showing you Cascadia, which is a new tile laying game all about trying to create habitats for animals and get those animals to live in those habitats. It's named after the Pacific Northwest, so you know, Washington, British Columbia, that kind of area, which is you know, sometimes referred to as Cascadia, which I thought was pretty cool. I'd never heard that before. So we are really trying to build the best Cascadia. This is on Kickstarter right now. I'll put a link to the campaign page in the corner and in the description of the video. And if you'd like to check out more, then you can head over there because, you know, it only exists with your support. But, but I'll mention I was paid to make this overview video. So we start out with these starter land tiles, these little three hex triangles. Is it a triangle if they're hexes? Anyway, we start off with these starting pieces of land that will give us a little bit of a guide of what to start with. Then on your turn, you are going to select a combination of a tile and a token. So the tile and the token that's underneath it. And throughout the game, you will score for doing things with your habitats, how you've laid your tiles out. But the other main thing is scoring based on the animal cards that have been drawn. So let's have a bit of a closer look at those. So these are the five types of animals in the game. We have the red-tailed hawk, grizzly bear, Roosevelt elk, red fox, and Chinook salmon. Now there are many variations of all of the cards that you can draw. This is just an example of what a selection might be for a game. So here you would score for hawks that are not adjacent to any other hawk. The more you get, the more points they're worth. Bears, you'll score for every pair of bears that's not adjacent to any other bears. So as soon as you've made a trio, it's out of consideration. The elk, you just want to join up any, any contiguous shape of elk. The more that's in that shape, the more points it's worth. The foxes want to be next to as many different animals as possible. The more different they're next to, the more points they're worth. And the salmon want to be on a great big salmon run. Now this is a bit different to the elk because the elk are happy in any shape whatsoever, but you want a run of salmon. So your runs can't touch, there can't be any other salmon in here. And if you make, say, a triangle of salmon, that's the end of the run on that side, at least. But as you can see, salmon runs can be very, very lucrative if you can make really big ones. So with that in mind, based on what's out here, I'd really like to get some elk or some salmon started. I don't really have the combinations available to do that. But I could go for, say, this tile with a bear and a hawk on it, and I get the token for salmon. Now, they aren't you know, tied to each other. You don't have to put the token on the tile that you take. So I could place my tile here, maybe thinking of a, a bear pair, because hawks want to be on their own, don't they? So I could do a hawk and something else. This could maybe be two elk if I want to, but I could get my salmon run started over on this tile. And another important thing that I've done is the other element of scoring. It's for your habitats. You score a point for every tile in your largest group of each habitat. So I have made my forest bigger and I've also made my snowy mountains one tile bigger as well because this had both on them and thanks to the way that my starting tile was, they go together nicely. They would on Marty's as well. Then you would draw a new tile from the stack. The stacks are 20 tiles per player plus three. And we keep going until we can't fill the display anymore. So for this one, Marty might you know, want to keep his habitats going here by exploring extending his river and wetlands with this here, but he would get a hawk and his tile here with a hawk on it has got this white arrow on it. This means it's a keystone tile. Now only a hawk could have gone on here, but for placing the correct animal on a keystone tile, you get yourself a nature token. And that is a guaranteed point at the end of the game if you just hang on to it. If you choose to spend it, you can break the rules of choosing your combo. You can spend a token to take a tile and a token from separate pairings, and then they just get filled up where they lay. So, you know, in the future, he could even go for another hawk with another hawk token and just replace his nature token back. Or you can spend a nature token to wipe any number of tokens and draw that many from the bag again. So if there's an animal you really want, especially as the game goes towards the end, you can give yourself more chance of getting it. Now, if the tokens have come out, and there's already three of a kind out there. When it comes to your turn, you can choose to wipe those matching ones out and draw three new ones. And if there are four matching out there, you have to do it. You haven't got a choice. So this is just as an example. I've done about 10 tiles for each of us. We score based on the animals that we've done. So I've got two hawks off on their own. That would be five points. I've got quite a nice run of elk here. Four elk is 10 points. 
didn't quite get my bear pair yet. Uh, my salmon run is uh, three salmon, so that would be worth seven points. Whereas Marty's got his two bear pairs, that's already 12 points right there. He's got three separate hawks, that's nine points. And he's got uh, a little two salmon run that's worth four points at the moment, but you see, ready to put more salmon down. And a fox that's currently next to two different things, uh, so that's worth another two points. Then you look at your habitats, so I've kind of split my desert a little bit. So my biggest desert is just two, my mountains will be four. My forest, again, I've split up a bit, so... Biggest one is two, biggest wetlands is two. River I've done quite nicely on, that's one, two, three, four, five. And then Marty, really good with the wetlands, five on the wetlands, four on the river, four on the forest, and four on the mountains here. Because as well as scoring all of those points, you then score four majorities. Now in a two-player game, it's two points for the most, and the second player doesn't get any points. But in a three or four-player game, it would be three points for the person with the most, and one point for the second place. So as it stands right now, Marty would beat me on desert, three to two. We would tie on mountains and both get the points. He would beat me on forest, four to two. I would beat him on river, five to four. And he would beat me on wetlands and desert. So I've, I've got a feeling Marty would be doing a lot better on the habitats right now. But this is just an example, probably about halfway through a game. As I mentioned, there were other scorecards you can have scoring for elk in a straight line the more you've got the more points they're worth you can have different salmon runs where the the maximum is different so you, you're only awarded for up to five here but it's more points for getting up to five and uh, another smaller salmon run card there uh, for every pair of hawks that are in each other's line of sight but not next to each other every animal that's the same type that's next to a fox so a lot of variations in the way that the different animals score. And in the end, whoever has got the most points has built the best habitat and is the winner. So that's Cascadia. If you would like to know what I thought of Cascadia, then there'll be a link to my first impressions in on the screen very shortly, or it's in the description now. And remember, if you want to check out the campaign page, see all of the final stuff, then that's linked in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you'd like to help the channel out, just spread the word and like and stuff. YouTube likes it when you like things. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye. Bye.